Now, I know you might have been asking this question for a very long time. You try to find an answer to this question for so long and you begin to say to yourself, when will this mystery be solved? Just how on earth were the Egyptians able to build their pyramids? The construction of the pyramid is one of history's most ancient and unsolved puzzles. Again and again over the course of history, many scholars and scientists ask and wonder the same question of how was the pyramid built? How was the Egyptians able to raise the stone blocks which formed the pyramid without using tower cranes like we have today? Almost all Egyptologists believe that some kind of ramp were used to raise the stone blocks. Now, this leads to another question. What type of ramp were used? Did they approach the pyramid straight on? Did they approach the pyramid zigzag up on one side? Or did they approach the pyramid in a spiral pattern around it? The Great Pyramid of Giza and other pyramids over 100 Egyptian pyramids are considered the greatest piece of human engineering and architecture. These monstrous monuments are still standing after over more than 4,500 years and are still a mystery unsolved till this day. Now, after making a lot of research and studying about this pyramid, this is what I have found. The techniques which were used to construct the Egyptian pyramid have baffled many historians and scientists for so many years. There were many controversial hypotheses which were introduced regarding the construction of the pyramid. One of these hypotheses were based on the belief that the huge stones were carved from the quarries using chopper chisels. Then, these blocks were dragged and lifted into position in order to form the pyramid. But this belief was said to be under a great dispute. The people who actually built the pyramid is also under a huge debate. It is believed that the pyramid were constructed using the Egyptian slave. Some even said these slaves were the Jews, but that was said to be wrong. Another theory also suggests that the pyramid were built by tens of thousands of skilled workers who were actually working for their salary. But what is certain about the construction of the pyramid is that the workforce was highly organized and managed to the highest level by following an organized and planned process which consists of theory phases. Now we are going to discuss the theory phases of building the pyramid. Phase 1. Choosing the perfect building site. The first step in building a pyramid was to choose a suitable site. This site had to be on the west side of the Nile, where the sun would set, considering that ancient Egyptians believed that wherever the sun set, that was the gateway to the afterlife. So that was the belief of the Egyptians. The pyramid also needed to be situated on the high ground away from the danger of flooding at the time of flood in the Nile. The chosen site would be at a point on the desert plateau, which would form a firm rock base capable of supporting the weight of the pyramid without any risk of cracking, considering that some of the greatest pyramids weigh around 2.5 tons, which is a lot of weight. The site chosen for the construction of each pyramid was considered based on the distance of the pyramid to the respective king residence. And the reason for this was because the king would need to regularly inspect the development of his burial chamber. So that was the first phase which was choosing the perfect building plan. Now let's discuss the second phase. No plans for the construction of the pyramid were ever found. but. The construction of pyramid was not a disorganized project and the measurements used were accurate to a very high degree. The workers first prepared a firm foundation by removing the loose sand from the rock. Then the rock base had to be absolutely flat. 
The workers may have done this by building low mud walls all around the base and therefore cutting channels in a grid pattern over the surface. Then they would fill the channel with waters and mark the level the water will reach. After the water had drained away, any rock found sticking out would have been cut back to the level indicated and any depression would have been filled with stone in order to make a perfectly level surface. Each side of the pyramid has to face one of the cardinal points. The builders probably begin from the North Pole and use this to work out other directions. They may have found the North Pole by taking a sight on a particular star in the northern sky. After this, they would then observe the rising and setting of the star and mark its appearance and disappearance on an artificial horizon. They had instruments for drawing right angles, so they would have been able to find east and west. Next, they had to make the base perfectly square with all four sides exactly the same length and the corners in perfect right angles. So, this is the second phase which is preparing the site. Now, let's discuss the last phase. Phase 3 Raising the Blocks The stones used in building of the pyramid were not little bricks. The bricks in the pyramid vary in size. However, the largest of these bricks can be found in the king chambers. These particular stones differ from the regular limestone blocks and were instead made of granites. The precise method of raising the pyramid is not known. You might think, what if they use the pulley system? The truth is, pulleys were not invented during that time until the time of the Romans. However, the Greek historian Herodotus discussed the levers being used to raise the blocks from one level to the next level. It has also been suggested that workers operating in teams use a ramp to pull up the blocks into position. And as the pyramid grew in size, the ramp would have been raised to enable the workers to reach the next level. But the main problem with this is that the ramp would eventually have been huge as the pyramid itself and would have reached an immense distance into the desert. Another idea is that the ramp would have gone around the pyramid and was dismantled when the pyramid was completed. But the construction method of the pyramid are still hotly debated and are still one of the greatest mysteries of ancient human civilization. Now, regardless of what theory you believe for the construction of this pyramid, there is no arguing that the Egyptian pyramids are ridiculously impressive for the time period and we will probably never get a concrete answer as to how were they built. But we can all agree that it took an insane amount of intelligence and manpower to build the pyramid. Finally, we are so fortunate to have this structure still standing after more than 4,500 years since they were constructed. What do you think about the pyramid? What technique do you think were used by the ancient Egyptians to build the pyramid? If you know any of this, then let us know in the comment section below this video. And if you found this video useful and informative, please do not forget or do not hesitate to click the like button to like this video. And also, please do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel in no tutorial so that you can get more of this type of videos whenever I upload a new video. And with that being said, you all have a good and a wonderful day. God bless you all. Bye bye.